Can you stop using the elevator? Why don't you use the stairs if you live on the second floor? What? I live on the 38th floor. Even when I use it normally, it's irritating because others will stop it on the way. If you use it, it gets even more irritating. But I have to carry some heavy stuff. You can easily carry them without the elevator. Just use the stairs. I try not to use it in the morning or the afternoon when everyone gets home. Though I often happen to be in the same elevator. Can you tell me what time you usually use it? If you can, I can adjust the schedule so we don't happen to use it at the same time. How should I know that? I might have to use it suddenly, or I might feel like going out. Like going out. Are you saying that every single time I go out, I have to tell you? That'd be bothering me as well. <laughs> I'm busy. Who do you think you are? You're saying it as if I wouldn't have anything to do. Are you mocking me? No, I'm not. I apologize if I made you feel that way. But I have a job, so it'd be difficult to always do as you wish. Aren't you married? Why do you have to work that much as well? If you don't have money, you shouldn't have bought it. A lot of married couples or people who work and live their life here have the rights to live however they want or buy whatever they want. Yeah, yeah. And I live on the 38th floor, and you on the 2nd. <laughs> but don't forget that this is a condo. Residents must follow the rules of each other. Of course. If anyone doesn't follow the rules, they should be kicked out. You're right. So you better get out. Huh? The second floor is the lowest floor here, right? I can't stand to be irritated every time by the residents of the lower levels. I want you to follow the rules or get out. Wait a second. What rule are you talking about? It's the unspoken rule that the residents from the lower floors must respect the ones from the higher floors. I've never heard of that. That's ridiculous. That's because you're from the lowest. My son happened to go to the same swimming class as your son. But we have to clarify our relationship according to the rule. It's already crazy for you to talk back at me. That's not a rule. The higher you live, the more it costs, you know that? I can see that you and I live in a different world. It's only natural for the rule to be created. Regardless of their salaries, Every resident has the right to use the elevator. A poor family like yours has no right to decide anything. You can't even afford to let your son go to a private kindergarten, can you? Does your son go to a public one because you're poor? Whatever the case, you're below us. That doesn't make any sense. Higher salary means higher status. Isn't that a given? So don't use the elevator from now on. Stop annoying the upper-level residents. If you ever use it again, I'm gonna ban your son from the swimming class. He doesn't have anything to do with this. Doesn't matter. It's your fault. You really believe you're above us because your rent costs more? Enough to ban my son from swimming classes? Yes, I am. What I order must be followed. Got it? Okay. So, starting from today, you're banned from using the elevator. Don't ever use it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kathy. Is it true that you've been banned from using the elevator? Did you hear that from Amanda? Yes. My kids go to the same kindergarten as hers. I overheard her bragging about it this morning. Bragging about what? Um, she said she dealt with a rebellious, lower-class resident. Oh my god. In the kindergarten, most of them go to the same swimming class, so... Everybody knows that you live on the second floor. So... Now everybody thinks I'm banned and can't use it? Exactly. 
I bet everybody thinks so. It's true, so I don't care. Are you okay? It's too cruel to be banned from using the elevator. Why would she do that? I could have ignored her as well. But I had no choice because she said she's gonna bully my son. For real? I can't believe it. She has a kid too. Amanda does literally anything to make her look superior. I guess I'm the victim number one. You should be careful too, Jesse. You never know what she's gonna do to you. Actually, she's already done something similar to me as well. Huh? You know, I'm quite shy. I do think you're a little introverted, but... I'm scared if I get banned from Amanda's friends list. So I'm reluctantly obeying her. Like what? I regularly take care of her kid. I live in a different building, but I live on the third floor. So apparently she looks down on me. What? Does she do that to you, even though she doesn't live in the same building? If she has to do that, why doesn't she get a babysitter or something? I heard she doesn't want to waste money. So she forces you to watch her kid? Yes, like two or three times a week. For real? She said I have to do it unless I want my kid to get bullied. Also, I was told not to tell this to anyone. She said it's the fate of the ones from the low levels. Ridiculous fate. I have my newborn baby too, so I'm getting tired of this. We're going through a tough time. Jesse. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell you about this. You've been always nice to me, so... I'm sorry for complaining like this. You're the one who's going through a tough time. Thank you for telling me about it. Huh? That means you trust me enough, right? I'm glad. I thought it would be annoying. Not at all. But we have to do something about Amanda. I can't forgive her for all of this. Do you have a plan? Yeah. Let me know if Amanda asks you to do that again. Okay. Looks like you haven't used the elevator ever since. It's never stopped. It's never stopped on the second floor since then. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah. If you had done that from the very beginning, I wouldn't have been irritated. I'm glad you understand your place. Hmm. Anyway, look at how miserable you are. Huh? You listen to everything I tell you, Kathy. Maybe I should ask you to give me anything I need. Since you're already at the bottom, it's quicker for you to go out. Are you trying to get me to get you anything you need? I'm so sorry for winning in life. My room is just a place to store things. Huh? It's located conveniently for me. I often get many things, so I chose this room. Stop lying. Huh? It's on the second floor, but still, it's a condo, though, and you're calling it a storage? I wonder how rich you are. Why are you even trying to pretend? Hmm. If you claim to call it a storage, where do you actually live? 50th floor. Huh? That's the top floor. Yeah, you didn't know? Are you being serious? Yes, I am. <laughs> if you don't believe me, would you like to come over to my place? But I've never seen you in the elevator after the second floor. I was using the one that goes straight to the penthouse. What? As you were barking like a dog? I changed the settings of it a little bit. I made it so I can get on and off on the second floor as well. What? You're lying. By the way, no one lives on the second floor. I'm renting. I'm renting the whole floor. The whole floor? How rich are you? My husband runs a company and I run an apparel company. I store some new clothes and samples there. The reason why my kid doesn't go to a private kindergarten is not because I can't afford it. It's because he goes to an international preschool. An international preschool? That's not cheap. Let's start a new relationship. Turn a new leaf. What do you mean? Let's be friends. We're the only moms that live on the upper levels. <laughs> I would never, ever be friends with you. 
You don't even have the right to be a mom. You're a piece of trash. What? I heard you hang out with your boyfriend every week, getting your friend to take care of your own child, yeah? What are you talking about? He did some digging about you because you were acting weird. What digging? It's true I got my friend to take care of my kid, but that's because I was busy with stuff. What an excuse. It's a nut! If you really want to make me out to be some horrible mom, whatever. I take good care of my child. Right. Because you go to see Andrew, who lives on the 40th floor. On top of that, you were trying to get him while his wife was out for a business trip? Stop imagining things. I don't forgive you for degrading me just because you live on the top. And you're being rude to Andrew and I. Apologize, now. Or I'm suing you. His wife just got back. What? She obviously thought it was weird to see you go to the 40th floor quite often. So I told her on a business trip. Apparently she got back two days earlier than she was supposed to. And now she's just got on the elevator. Wait a second. There's only one elevator on the higher floors. What are you concerned about? I thought you didn't have anything to do with Andrew. Then there shouldn't be any problems, even if his wife got home. I got no time to get dressed. Please, I'm begging you, let me use the elevator that goes straight to the top. I can get on it with a password, right? As if I would let you. By the way, there's an inspection going on with the stairs. For the time being, they're not available from the 30th to 50th floor. No way. I'm completely stuck on the 40th. What do I do? Please, Kathy, help me. I'll do anything for you. Literally anything. You don't have to do anything for me. You don't have to do anything for me. You slept with someone who you're not married with. You broke the rule. Since you broke the rule, I'm just gonna get you out of here. I don't want to. I don't want my husband to know that. Get out! I thought you must obey what the ones living on the higher levels say, right? <laughs> Amanda got caught by her husband and Andrew's wife. She has to pay compensation to them and she got banned from the condo. Naturally, she got divorced and she lost custody of her child. Though she was looking down on the ones who lived on the lower floors. She never thought she'd fall off the lowest. Hey, you really pissed me off. Do you know that? Just what in the world do you think you're doing trying to marry my brother, you cow? You really need to learn your place and back off of him, got it? I'm sorry, what? What is all of this about? I heard the news from my mom. She told me that you and my brother were going to be getting married. Well, I'm not going to let him end up with a fatty like you. I know that you only care about yourself and you just want to use my brother. I won't let you get away with this. I really have no idea what you're talking about at all but we've already legally filed our marriage. Of course we're going to have a wedding. I don't get what the problem is. I know that, but obviously it's the wedding that everyone is going to remember. And I am not going to let you get away with having that wedding. You mean that you're going to try and stop your brother and I from getting married? That's right. You two might be married on paper, but it's the wedding where you say your vows in front of everyone. And I am going to ruin that and spoil your marriage from then on. No, that's going to drive a wedge between you and finally break you two up. So, so don't think that I'm going to let you get away with what you're trying to pull here. Well, well, I appreciate how upfront you're being to me with all of this. I'm afraid that that won't do. And why would you even want to do this? As far as I know, your mom is really looking forward to us getting married. Well, I'm not looking forward to it one bit. So there. And I know that if I can convince enough people to see things my way, that I can ruin your wedding like that. Uh Renee, I really think that you're being unreasonable here. I mean, come on. Uh, no. The only unreasonable one around here is you. You really think that anyone is going to want to see someone like you get married? No one is even going to go to your stupid wedding. I can guarantee you that. 
There isn't anyone who will want to take the time to see you. <laughs> Renee, please. Can't we just try and talk this out like adults? I mean, don't you think all the name-calling and ranting is just a little bit childish? You think I care at all about what you like? I'll call you names I want to call you. Fat, fatty, fat pig. A person like you can't get married because only pretty people are allowed to get married. Which means that, of course, my brother and his tux will be fine. But he should be standing at the altar waiting for some fat cow like you to walk down the aisle. That will just be a waste of everyone's time and a huge waste of money. I really don't understand what is making you act this way. I mean, I don't think that anyone else feels this way except you. I am going to stop this from happening so that I don't have to suffer through the shame of being your sister-in-law. Your wedding is going to blow up in your face. Don't think that just because you've gotten the legal bit out of the way that you're going to end up with my brother. Brad. <clears throat> hey there, Trish. I was just thinking about where we should do our wedding, and I really do like Green Acres as the location. What do you think? I feel like of all the places that we went to check out, it was the one with the best atmosphere and would just make for a really pretty scenery. Wait, what? You really want to do Green Acres? But just earlier you were talking about doing a totally different venue, right? I mean, we've already paid the money to ask that other place to hold our dates for us, remember? I know, I know, but I was reviewing all of our options, and I really do think that Green Acres is going to be the place to do it. In fact, I had a friend tell me that Green Acres was probably the best spot we could find. And then, looking it over again, I thought they really had a point. Well, I can seriously see us getting married there. Well, I just... I guess I'm just surprised that you changed your mind about this so quickly is all. But I guess I'm not too strongly attached to either place. Awesome. Perfect. Then Green Acres it is. I've actually already called ahead and signed a contract with Green Acres, so we're all good. Can you believe that we're going to be getting married in just two more months? This is crazy. Oh, would you mind calling the other place and canceling for us? But hold on a second. Do you mean to tell me that you already signed with Green Acres to have our wedding there? And when did we say we're going to be getting married in two months? I thought we were still figuring out the dates. Well, if we don't get married on the day that I arrange for, then the reservation just wouldn't work out. <laughs> Okay, but you shouldn't have just gone out and done that by yourself. I mean, we're going to be getting married. We should be choosing these things together. No, it's fine. You have nothing to worry about at all. Besides, we still have two months and plenty of time to figure things out. And it's not like people are going to want to miss our wedding, so it's fine whatever day we choose to do it. I just... That's not the point that I'm trying to get out here, Brad. I just wish that you would have talked to me a bit more before doing this. Well, it's already done now, so I don't really see the point of throwing a fit like this. Oh, just a heads up, we're going to be getting married in the morning. So we're not going to have any kind of reception either. And we're going to be getting married in a chapel, and then maybe we'll just go out somewhere and invite friends out. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be getting there until the very last minute, so you'll have to get there early and set all this up. Sound good? Now hold on for just one second. I thought we agreed that we didn't want to do this in a chapel. Not only that, but I thought that we wanted to have a big reception dinner. And just what do you mean you're going to be late? Late to the wedding? Late to the after party? What is going on here? Why am I having to do any of this by myself when we should be doing all of this together as husband and wife? Right, well, I would be there to help with all of that, but... Well, the thing is that I just have some errands that I'll have to run that day, and I can't do them any other day. You're going to be running errands on our wedding day. Are you serious? If that's the case, let's get married on another day. It sounds like you're going to be too busy with your errands to help me out. So I think we should just reschedule the whole thing! Oh no, we can't do that. I already set everything up. It has to be on that day. It has to be in the morning, just like I arranged it. Well, can you at least give me a good reason for why it has to go exactly that way when we agreed on something completely different? Look, 
I really don't have the time to get into all of this with you right now, but it just has to be that way, okay? Besides, I've already signed the contract and everything. So if we tried to change things around now, it would cost a fee. And that would just make more trouble for everyone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle everything. I really can't believe the nerve of you. I tried to warn you. Told you that you'd regret this and you're still getting married. You really have some serious nerve, do you know that? You should have listened to me when you had the chance, Trish. You know, Trish, I actually really can't take the blame on this one. I actually did try to, at the very least, put off the wedding. But it was actually Brad who arranged for all of this today. In fact, by the time he told me about it, he had already signed the contracts with the venue and everything, so there was nothing I could do. Wait, what? You mean that it was my brother who picked this place out? Exactly. But since he did it, hopefully you at least know that we're serious about getting married. I hope that you can enjoy the event at the very least. D don't, don't you think that you've gotten away with this? You really think that I'm just going to believe that my brother put all of this together? I just know that you probably forced him to do this, didn't you? You really think that I forced him to have it so that we'd be getting married here today? Just admit it! But you know what? There's still time for you to listen to what I have to say. You can still go home. You really think that I'm going to leave my own wedding? I really don't think you know how weddings work. Oh, don't you worry about that. We don't need you here at the wedding either. You see, I've already found Brad a new wife. So just leave already. I found a girl much more pretty than you. She'll make a much better wife for Brad than you ever would. So I'll let the wedding happen. Just not with you as the bride. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You're really going to try and switch out the bride at the last second? That's right. I told you that I wasn't going to let my brother end up with a nasty old cow like you. I tried to warn you, but you just wouldn't listen. But I'll have you know that I put a lot of planning into today. For hours and hours I thought about the best way that I'd be able to ruin your wedding. And then I finally figured it out. So I went and found a new wife for Brad to marry. Wow, yeah, I can tell you really must have put a lot of thought into this. It's foolproof. Although, I have to say, I knew that you didn't approve of Brad and I getting married. But I never imagined you'd try something like this. Well, that's what you get for underestimating me. I told you that I wasn't going to let a fatty like you marry my brother. And now I can give my brother the best wedding present of all. A much better wife than the one that he would have married. And trust me, I took a long, long time picking up the perfect woman for Brad to end up with. I just know that he's going to like her a thousand times better than you. You have got to be kidding me. I really can't believe that you would do this. What's the matter with you? Oh, so don't be sad just because I've outsmarted you. The truth is that you never stood a chance to begin with. But I just know that Brad is going to be so happy. He'll be overjoyed when he finally sees who it is that I've chosen to be his new wife. Not to mention that I'm getting two birds with one stone. Wow. Well, I guess I'll give you an A-plus for effort, but this is just stupid. I mean, do you really think that something like this could ever work? That anyone would go along with this? <laughs> what are you talking about? What part of this is crazy, huh? Do you have any idea how hard I worked picking up the perfect wife for Brad? I used his picture to create a dating profile for him and talked to dozens of women looking for the perfect match. Mwah was very, very strict with who I swiped on, too. Oh, hold on a second. You're telling me that you found this person who is going to replace me as Brad's wife in a dating app? Of course I did. There's all kinds of people on there, and I knew that with enough time, I'd find the right person. And I guess I shouldn't have expected anything less for a profile with his face on it. He got all kinds of matches. 
There were actually so many women who I couldn't even talk to. But finally, I found one who stood out. She was beautiful and went to a good school. I just know that Brad is going to want to marry her right away. Yeah, I really don't know if that is how this is all going to go down. Ha! <laughs> That's what a loser like you would say. But you're just jealous because you realize that I've come up with the perfect plan and that nothing is going to stop me now. So why don't you just give up on this whole thing and go home already, huh? My brother doesn't want to need you around anymore. Besides, I called ahead to this venue and already told him that there would be a change to the bride's name. <laughs> I'm sorry, you what? Did you really do that? Oh, that's right. I got up first thing in the morning to call them and tell them that there had been a mistake in the preparations. So it was never, ever your wedding to begin with. Don't you get it? I've already won. Now just turn around and go home because Brad is marrying someone else. Okay, then. <laughs> Fine. In fact, you know that I thank you for doing this. If this is what it's going to take for me to be able to get out of this wedding, then... Well, it's unorthodox, but I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to be thanking me for kicking you out of your own wedding. I'm sure that you thought I'd be breaking down into tears and crying, begging you not to do this. But the fact of the matter is that even before we were going to have this wedding, I was already thinking of leaving Brad. I just wasn't sure how I was going to be able to get out of doing this wedding. But now you've given me the perfect excuse. No, wait. This doesn't make any sense at all. Why in the world would you want to try and leave my brother? I mean, he's perfect. He's the one that's way too good for you. Did you hit your head or something like that? You should be crushed. Devastated right now. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you did want to happen when I found out about this plan of yours. But the fact of the matter is that for how perfect your brother pretends to be, it's all just an act. In fact, I bet you didn't know that your brother was already trying to marry two women in one day. The whole reason that we're having ours in the morning is so that he can run off and get married again this evening. I'd never want anything to do with that piece of trash again. What are you talking about? My brother isn't going to be married twice in one day. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What are you even talking about? If you want to find out about this, you should go and ask Brad yourself. I'm going to be going home just like you told me. But once again, thank you so much for getting me out of this. I don't get it. How did you know? How did you know that I was going to be having a second wedding in the afternoon? I hadn't told anyone that, you know. There's no way that you should know this was going to happen. I guess you just underestimate the power of women's intuition. I mean, really. Did you think that after all the last-minute decisions about our wedding date and venue that I wouldn't guess anything? You even said that you were going to be late to whatever kind of gathering we were supposed to be having afterwards. Well, after that, I waited until you were asleep one night and I went through your phone. Hold on a second. You what? Why in the world would you do that? To find exactly what I was looking for. All of the proof that you were cheating on me. You met some girl on an app and she didn't care if she was going to be your second wife. You told me that a friend had told you that Green Acres would be the perfect place for our wedding, but it was this other woman's suggestion. Wait, no, no, no. You don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake here. There's no mistake at all, and you know it. The moment I figured out that you were cheating on me, I knew I wanted a divorce. And to think that we had just gotten ourselves legally married. Our parents and friends were looking forward to celebrating with us. I really wasn't sure about how I was going to get out of this until your sister found a replacement for me. Don't Wait, hold on. You know that you're the woman that I love the most, right? If I'm going to lose you, then I don't want a second marriage. This woman said that if we didn't get married, that she would tell you about our affair. You see? She was blackmailing me into this second marriage. Don't you dare and try to pretend to be a victim in this. You're a cheater and a liar, and that's it. And now you're getting what you deserve. Oh, please don't say those kind of things. Look, you know we can still get through this. I was putting off our divorce hoping that something would happen to change my mind. But now I just know that I do want a divorce. 
And you better believe that I'm going to be suing you for the affair that you've had behind my back. Wait, hold on. You can't be serious about this, right? I mean, you're really going to want to get a divorce? But we're going to be getting married soon. Oh, I won't be getting married to you. In fact, it seems like you have two choices now. You can either marry this woman in the afternoon or take the woman that your sister brought to replace me. At this point, though, I'm just glad to know that I'm not one of your choices. But anyways, it seems to me like you've got some big decisions to make. Trish, you have to help me. Please get back here right now. My brother is in serious trouble. The other woman that Brad was seeing and the woman that I chose to replace you are fighting right now. Oh, it's getting really bad. <gasps> They're kicking and screaming and tearing each other's dresses to shreds. Oh, it's horrible. Wow. Well, that sounds like quite the scene. I'm almost sad to miss it. But that's not all. Uh, it turns out that the woman that I found was actually an ex-girlfriend of Renee. And apparently Brad was still choosing who he wanted to marry. And then the woman that he had been cheating on me with just showed up to fight this other woman? That's right. I guess neither one of them want to give up on my brother, and so now they're just tearing each other apart. But now my brother is saying that he wants to get back together with you. He says he wants to give you one more chance, so please come back. Wow. Well, all of that sounds like a hot mess, but also one that I have no real stake in. But you have to come back. You're married to Brad. I know he said you're going to try and leave him, but you're still his wife. Yeah, I'm not going to do that at all. But I am going to follow through on that divorce. And then I'm going to sue your brother and the woman he was cheating with. Then I'm going to forget all about Brad and this woman. And especially about you. You can't do that! You have to come back here and put a stop to all of this! Things are bad here. My parents are wondering where you are! Well, then it sounds to me like you have some explaining to do, don't you? But like I said, this isn't my problem anymore. And I refuse to intervene. Good luck with all that. Or not. I don't really care either way. After that, I started getting desperate texts from Brad for me to help him. But I ignored them all. Finally, I just decided to block him. Instead, I hired a lawyer to handle the divorce and make sure that Brad and his mistress paid for their affair. Having humiliated himself in front of his friends and family with the fiasco at the wedding, Brad had no one to turn to for help. He had no choice but to take out a loan to pay what he owed me. Not only that, but also had to pay the full price for both weddings. The last thing I heard about Brad was that in order to raise the money that he needed to clear his debt, he had gone to work on a fishing boat in Alaska and no one has heard from him since. His parents reached out to me and apologized profusely for their children's behavior. They told me that they kicked Renee out and told her to find her own way in life. Obviously, that isn't how I would have liked my marriage to go at all. But I'm just glad that I was able to get out when I did and avoid getting in harm's way. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.